Hi everyone, today I will give a quick explanation of the ticket swarming. Also called intelligent swarming. This is relevant to customer support teams and IT helpdesk teams where complex issues are becoming a larger portion of the tickets and require multidisciplinary approaches to solve faster. What is swarming? Intelligent swarming is a set of practices that facilitates and optimizes a collaborative problem-solving process. It is all about how we collaborate to solve issues rather than tossing a ticket over the wall to the next team by escalating to another support level. Customer service representatives instead call upon a team of skilled experts from within the business to help them solve difficult cases as soon as they arise. This is different from the traditional tiered model that was good in dealing with a high volume of known issues or low complexity issues. Thus, swarming is relevant for teams where the average time to resolve is greater than 15 minutes. Or when new versus known ratio of cases coming into the support center is greater than 30%. Or even when the percentage of cases requiring escalation to a higher tier is increasing. Next, let's talk about the theory behind swarming. In short, a tierless swarming model involves a complex issue with multiple parts that needs a cross-functional team to be called upon to get to the bottom of the issue faster in a seamless all-hands-on-deck scenario. We need to be getting the right people on the right work. And getting the right people to the right people. They can ask for help and offer help when it is needed in order to create a swarm. Next, here are the four principles you need to learn. 1. Abundance. The more we share the more we learn. 2. Create value and understand the why. 3. Demand-driven process. 4. Trust and empower your team. Next. The six core concepts dictate that you will have no tiers. Just squads that form and dissolve to solve issues. Work is work and you just have to produce value by helping others on cases relevant to your skill set. We should make cases visible to the right people based on their skill set and make it easy to ask or offer help. There are no team owners. Just coaches. We should also reward people and teams for collaborating and producing value so that the incentives are not to be a hero that hoards knowledge but rather to be a person that collaborates and shares. There are three practices in swarming. 1. Connect the right people to the right work. 2. Collaborate and capture the knowledge of the interaction. 3. Recognize people and impact of swarming. In order to do connect properly, you need to make people profiles and work profiles then build a classification model and engine that makes the work visible to the relevant people. Here I list some benefits of swarming. Next, I list some questions you need to ask when designing your swarming processes. Where can you learn more about intelligent swarming? Visit the Consortium for Service Innovation at serviceinnovation.org. You can read their official guide and take a one-hour course for $195 US dollars to get certified. Thank you for listening.